Ladies and gentlemen of the Natural Hair Care Jewelry, good evening. <laughs> I'm saying good evening because it is late at night. I'm tired, but I thought what better time than to show you my nighttime skincare routine. Hi, I'm Healing Means. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we judge products, not people. As you may know, if you saw my Black Friday haul video, it wasn't with hair care products, but it was with skin care. I am really trying to, in 2021, improve the condition of my skin. I have several problem areas or things that I want to work on, and I bought the ordinary products to try to help me with that. But tonight I'm gonna to show you the routine that was recommended to me by the Desium representative. This is the squalene cleanser and it's actually the only cleanser that The Ordinary has, or at least at the time that I made my purchase. This is a squalene based face cleanser and makeup remover. And actually the directions tell you to put it on a dry face rub it in it'll be like an oil and then you rinse it off and it's like um like a milky substance so and you just need like a pea size amount so i'm gonna put like this much i don't know if that's a pea size amount but this this how much we're gonna use and what i do is take my fingers and just rub it together a little bit first and i know it doesn't look like a lot but it doesn't take a lot to cover your face. And that I just rub it in. And as you heat it up, it goes like an oil. And I like to rub it in for at least 60 seconds. I do cover my neck. Sometimes I have to, I feel like I need to add a little bit more. So I do that but I rub everywhere. Always be careful around your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And it kind of just rubs in, but as you work it into your face, it feels like an oil, but that helps to remove makeup from your face. So after I work this in, I wet my fingers with warm water and then I go back over and I don't know, let's see if you can kind of see, you get like a milky kind of, um, not really sudsy lather, but you get like a milky consistency, depends on how much water you use. I use enough to kind of get like a thinner consistency or like try to work, you know, work the oil into the milk lather. Yeah, see, the more water you use, the more you can see. I do this for like another minute. Make sure I remember to get my neck. And I rinse this off and then I move on to the next step. Now that my face is clean, you see I left the water. Let me get a, a little bit closer. And so you can see I have texture on my skin. I have dark spots. I have acne marks. Um, I have something kind of coming up here. Um, and just you can see like some texture and stuff on my skin. I'm not so concerned with the texture on my skin. My emphasis really is going to be fading like these dark marks in like acne scars. That's really what um, I want to focus on as far as treating my, my face. I'm going to move into my serums and what Desium recommends is that whatever you're trying to treat, if you use more than one serum in a routine, use the product that's going to treat the area of concern, apply that first. 
So what I'm going to start off with is the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. And y'all know I'll have the picture up here somewhere. I always post that. Now this is a concentrated serum with 2% purified Alpha Arbutin and Hyaluronic Acid. And on the box, it says that it visibly targets hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And so this is really a product that I'm interested in. So these droppers are what the serums come in and you can see this one is kind of thick. Now, Desium also recommends applying like thinnest to thickest and starting off with your water-based and moving into your oils and then your thicker creams. I'm going slightly out of order because the next product that I'm going to use is a bit thinner than this one. But because I specifically want to treat hyperpigmentation and dark spots, I want this product to be the closest to my skin. I find that especially with the thicker serums, it helps me when my skin is just a little bit wet or damp. So sometimes I put this in my hand and mix it up and apply it to my face. Sometimes I put it straight on my face today just because I think it might be a little bit easier with recording. I'm going to, and my mirror is here, so let me look over here so I don't spill nothing. So I'm just going to apply a drop to my forehead and to the cheek, the cheek. And then the chin. And you can see like how slow it's falling. So I have time. But I start at the bottom. And I put it all over my face. But you know I make sure I get those areas that I'm trying to focus on. So all of these dark spots. This one right here. This, this spot right here. This is how I'm really going to know if these products are working. The ones that say that they treat hyperpigmentation and dark spots. I'm going to know that. So I apply, and like I said, having my skin be a little damp, it really helps to spread the product. And you saw I put four drops, and four drops almost feels like too much. All right, so I have the Alpha Arbutin applied. I try to wait like a couple minutes in between when I'm applying more than one serum. The next product that I'm going to use is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5, and that's this. This is actually the larger bottle, so this comes in 30 milliliter and 60 milliliter bottles, one ounce or two ounce, and I got the two ounce bottle. This is a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. I'm going to show you with this product. And it's the same kind of dropper, but you can tell, look, I'm not even pressing it and it's already dripping out. So this is thinner than the Alpha Arbutin Serum. And we'll see if this happens. But this, this is what happens to me when I apply the products one right after the other. Instead of giving the first product time to absorb into my skin before I apply the second one. And I do the same thing. But I have to be a little bit more careful because this is a little bit looser. So I put a drop on my forehead. This cheek. This cheek. Then my chin. Oh, yeah, see, it's going a little quick. So I rub it in. And we'll see if this happens. I should have moistened my face a little bit because I find that this can feel a little bit sticky. And I sometimes I rub it in everywhere. Sometimes I rub it in the areas I'm trying to target and then I'll pat it, you know, around the rest of my face. Let me just make sure I have it everywhere. And I'm done. So it didn't do it this time. Maybe I waited um, a good amount of time. But sometimes what will happen is if I apply the products one right after the other, 
uh, experience something known as peeling. And what happens with peeling is that instead of it going like clear on my face where, you know, you can't even see the product really, I'm putting one product on top of the other one without the first one absorbing into my skin. And so they mix together and um, sometimes it'll look, you know, like a white tint or almost like a white cream. If I put too many drops on my face and apply products one right after another too quickly, it'll actually like form little rolly balls, you know, and it's because I just haven't given the product enough time to soak into my skin. So this is how my face looks after I have cleansed it and after I've applied the Alpha Arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid and then the hyaluronic acid plus B5. The next product that I'm gonna use, and this is something that was specifically recommended to use during my nighttime routine. This is the Ascorbyl Tetrasopalmitate Solution 20% in Vitamin F. This is a high strength oil solubilized vitamin C derivative in Vitamin F. Whew. In the direction, say, apply a few drops to the entire face in the AM and or PM, but the Decium representative recommended that I use this in the PM because of the vitamin C. Now, even though it's a vitamin C derivative, it still is a form of vitamin C. She did say, if I use this during the daytime at all, for whatever reason, make sure that I use sunscreen. I do have the sunscreen from The Ordinary, and that's something that I'll show you um, when I do the AM routine video. This oil is very thin. I mean, as soon as it comes out the dropper, it's on your face, it will slide all the way down and it absorbs like that. So I'm just gonna show you from the bottle and same dropper and you see See, very thin consistency. So what I like to do with this, because it is so thin and it runs down my face so quickly, I've started mixing it with the next product I'm going to show you. So the last product that the Decium representative recommended to me for this basic nighttime routine is the moisturizer. And this is the natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid and it is a surface hydration formula. Here's what the moisturizer looks like. <laughs> For all of the creams, Decium recommends that you apply a pea-sized amount. <laughs> Y'all know I got a problem with that. Um, <laughs> you probably really only need a pea-sized amount, but I probably do like a pea and a half. And then for the serums, they recommend two to three drops. But as you see, I put four. Sometimes I put three. Depending on what the product is, three is enough. But, you know, I'll be trying to be extra, so I'll be putting four. So here's the cream again. And I'm going to put three or four drops of the vitamin C oil derivative. Was that for y'all? And it's already. So I'm gonna just try to like mix it. I can't really show you because the oil is gonna, it absorbs so quickly. It's not mixed all the way, but I just wanna show you this right quick. And usually I just do it like really quick and then just pat it. Remember the neck. Don't forget your neck. And once I cover, like make sure I cover my, my whole face, then I'll go ahead and massage it in. And this feels very smooth, very soft. The moisturizer feels soft and smooth by itself, but when you add the vitamin C, it really just, you know, it, it just gives you like that extra... I don't know, like luxurious feeling or whatever. So I rub this all over my face 
like I said, don't forget the neck. All right, that feels very good. And this is how my face looks after I have applied all of the products from the nighttime routine. When I get up in the morning too, my face feels still clean. It feels very moisturized and it feels soft. And I, I really like that. Now that I have all of the products applied, let's talk about them. The first product is the Squalane Cleanser. My face does feel clean. I have tried this on a face of makeup and it definitely does work to break down the makeup and remove it. The only thing that I really don't like about this cleanser is that it's just, it's not enough. It doesn't seem like enough for the price. So would I repurchase the Squalane cleanser? Not unless they make it available in a larger size, at least 100 milliliters. But is it working for me now? Like, is my face getting clean when I use it? Yes, absolutely. But y'all, this this is just too small. The next product is the Alpha Arbutin 2% with hyaluronic acid. The thing that attracted me to this product is that it is meant to treat hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And like I have shown you, you know, especially around my cheek and jawline, chin area, I have a lot of them. One thing the Decian representative also told me about was that I may experience, what did she say? Shoot, now of course the name escapes me, but I have experienced some breakouts on this side of my face and I'm definitely hoping that products like the Alpha R Beauty and a couple other products that are meant to treat hyperpigmentation and dark spots, I really hope that they come through. This is definitely something that I wanna continue using. I do think it's worth it. My skin does feel smoother and hydrated. It is something that I would repurchase and I'm definitely gonna keep using it and I bought two. The next product that I applied was the Hyaluronic Acid 2% Plus B5. And like I mentioned, this is a hydration support formula. Sometimes I'll apply it a couple of times throughout the day, especially if it's an especially cold or especially dry day. I can tell the difference. So my face feels hydrated. It feels moisturized. Um... And it actually looks, it, it doesn't just feel better, it looks better. So this is a product that I definitely will use to the end of the bottle. I would repurchase it and I really think it's worth it. Especially if you're not looking to treat any condition or specific issue or situation. You just want to have a hydrated face. The hyaluronic acid, I like it and I would repurchase it. The next product that I used was the Excorbal Tetris. Y'all, it's the vitamin C derivative with vitamin F in it at 20%. It is very thin. It is very light. It absorbs very quickly. I forgot to mention this, but this visibly targets dullness, uneven tone, and signs of age. When I use this at night and I get up the next morning, my skin feels smoother it doesn't feel as textured i mean it's not a miracle it's not gonna work overnight i do feel a difference when i get up the next morning from using this product at night definitely something i'm gonna continue using to the bottom of the bottle and i think i actually bought two of these the last product that i used was the natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid and this is a surface hydration formula and to me, this is like your moisturizing cream. This bottle is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. I think this does come in 100 milliliter, but this was part of the balance set. I think that's what I bought, the balance set. It had four products in it. And this was part of that set. So that's why this container is so small. So far, I like it. My skin does feel soft. It feels 
moisturized and when i wake up in the morning it still feels soft and moisturized at this point i would repurchase but i have to repurchase the larger size so these are the products that i use for my basic nighttime routine that's all i have for this video thank you for watching please remember to like comment subscribe click that notifications bell and share with everyone you know until next time bye